Welcome to the Wild Medicine Walk for Bedens species. The Bedens species include Bedens tripartita, Bedens pelosa, and many other species. This plant is commonly called cobbler's pegs or burr marigold, and there are other synonyms as well, including needle grass, Spanish needles, and herba bedentis. In Chinese medicine, it's called gui jin cao, or lumba cao, and it features as a plant for kidney health in the 16th century pivotal Chinese text, the ben cao geng mu. Countries with a history of using the beaten species medicinally include Africa, India, the Americas, China, Hong Kong, Uganda, Hawaii, and also Australasia, in particular New Zealand. It's a bitter and astringent herb and it has an affinity with the kidneys, known for being able to assist with the removal of toxins and also fighting against a host of pathogens, including Staphylococcus aureus, Enterococcus vasalis, Streptococcus pneumoniae, and Neisseria gonorrhea, among other bacteria. Some of the other actions that the beaten species is well known for and supported by many scientific studies includes antiseptic and antioxidant. So let's have a walk now and have a look at this incredible healer. I'm walking here in an area of parkland which is very close to water and that's perfect for Bedens. Bedens likes to grow near wet areas. It has a preference for wet and swampy locations and it's thought that this relates to the plant's ability to flush the body of toxins. Moving in closer to the plant now you can see that it's very herbaceous so you need to look for green leaves and green stem and the stem itself actually is quite smooth. So this is not necessarily a hairy plant, but it is a plant with leaves that are distinctly toothed. And this also may have something to do with its botanical name, uh, the Bedens, meaning two teeth. So having a look at one of the more distinguishing features of the plant, this is the flower head. It tip typically is actually an inflorescence and it's composed of many tiny florets. You can see on this particular example that we have more of the disc florets, which are situated more towards the center of the inflorescence. The stem, as you can see, is actually quite erect and it's quite firm. So it's the sort of stem that can bend in your fingers. It's not necessarily going to snap. It actually has a lot of strength and structural integrity to it. I'm just sorting here between the stem and the inflorescences and the seed heads. Notice here also that the leaves are arranged in an opposite fashion. Leaves actually can be divided into uh, leaflets in some cases, and in others they're just distinctly lobed, so they look like, like they've got little separate parts. And that's the case with Beden's tripartita, which is one that is used medicinally in Australia. It looks to have three distinct parts to the leaf, thus the uh, species name tripartita, meaning three-parted. So looking here at another Beedens plant, uh, same species again, but just take note of the shapes of the leaves and coming up now to the seed head. The seeds are actually asheens. What's typical in this Asteraceae family is that we have a Cipsella head here. So very much like dandelion species, we have all the seeds clustered together in the inflorescence and they will be dispersed either by animal um, animal dispersion or perhaps by wind dispersion and each of those little asheen seeds that uh, the structure actually has two little pegs on the end thus the name cobbler's pegs and that's really the secret to their ability to latch on to passers-by. More than 200 phytochemicals have been identified in the beaten species including the flavonoids, phenylpropanoids, fatty acids and phenolics so it's really no surprise that we're finding scientific studies proving the antioxidant and anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties of these plants. Studies on Bedens so far are currently investigating its use in diabetes, cardiovascular disease, infection, allergy, bleeding, inflammatory conditions, as well as cancer.